First, light enters the eye through the pupil. Then the lens focuses it onto the retina. The retina is covered with sensitive photoreceptors called rods for dim light and cones for bright light. When stimulated, the rods and cones send signals to the optic nerve and to the brain where the visual information is processed to create the picture. Now let us understand the different parts of the eye and their function one by one. The eyeball is made up of three layers. The outer layer is the scleroma, which is a firm, white of the eye an opaque membrane that lines the inside of the eye. The cornea is a clear, thin, dome-shaped tissue that bulges slightly in the sclera at the front of the eye. It functions like a window that controls and focuses the entry of light into the eye. The middle layer is the choroid. The iris is the colored part of the eye that sits in front of the choroid and regulates the amount of light entering the eye. The pupil is a circular hole or opening in the center of the iris. The iris adjusts the size of the pupil and controls the amount of light that can enter the eye. The ciliary body is a circular structure that is an extension of the iris, the colored part of the eye. The ciliary muscle enables the lens of the eye to focus on near objects. The inner layer is known as the retina, a thin layer of tissue that lines the back two-thirds of the eyeball. The retina is covered with sensitive photoreceptors called rods, for dim light, and cones, for bright light. The retina converts light into electrical impulses that are sent to the brain through the optic nerve. The next structure is the lens, a clear part of the eye behind the iris that helps to focus light on to the retina. Aqueous humor is the clear liquid inside the front part of the eye. It nourishes the eye and keeps it inflated. The aura serrata is the serrated junction between the retina and the ciliary body. This junction marks the transition from the simple non-photosensitive area of the retina to the complex, multi-layered photosensitive region. Hyaloid canal is a small transparent canal running through the vitreous body from the optic nerve disc to the lens. The hyaloid canal appears to have no function in the adult eye, though its fetal remnant structure that can be seen. Vitreous humor, also called vitreous fluid, is a clear gel-like substance that's located in your eye. It takes up the space between your eye's lens and retina. It helps your eye keep its shape. The fovea centralis is a small, central pit composed of closely packed cones in the eye. The fovea is responsible for sharp central vision also called foveal vision, necessary for activities for which visual detail is of primary importance, such as reading and driving. Retinal vein carries blood away from the retina. And finally the optic nerve. Optic nerve is the largest sensory nerve of the eye. It is really an extension of the central nervous system of the brain. It transmits electrical impulses from our eyes to our brain. Our brain processes this sensory information so that we can see. Hope you are benefited from this video. Make sure to subscribe, share and like this video. Take care, stay blessed. You are with biology exams for you.